Welcome back to Radio Soap. I am the new Jack Kid. With me right now, I have a very special guest on deck tonight. The woman behind Urgent Incorporated Vice President and also going to be mentioning the film Unrealistic. Right now, we have the one and only Saliha Nelson. Welcome to Radio Soap. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. I'm very excited to be here. Hey, we're glad you came on out tonight. <laughs> so yes, once again, welcome to Radio Soap. Perfect. Thank you. So uh, before we get any uh, any further with the movie, tell me about Urgent Incorporated. Well, Urgent Inc., we are a community-based organization um, based in the Overtown community. And our mission is to empower young minds to transform their communities. And so we see young people as assets that have skills and talents that they can contribute to their communities and make positive change. We're celebrating our 20-year uh, anniversary, um, and so we're very excited that uh, we reached that tremendous benchmark in operations and we run several after school intergenerational workforce training and gender specific programs for girls in, in the community. Oh that's amazing and you've been around for 20, 20 years wow <laughs> yes. definitely a long time. <laughs> we hope to continue continue for another 20 at least. And uh, with you mentioning the program that you do you also mentioned a uh, uh, broadcast media program that you're going to be doing as well. Why don't you uh, briefly tell me about that? Sure. Well, we're very excited that um, we're looking forward to implement what we call our FACE program, which stands for Film, Arts and Culture, Coding, and Entrepreneurship. And that's our workforce training program uh, in partnership with the Southeast Park West um, Overtown Community Redevelopment Agency. Um, we're looking to finalize, hopefully, that opportunity to hire around 75 young people between the ages of 16 and 24 to work in an internship in each of those industry areas. So we're looking for them to work between six and eight weeks. They'll work part-time and each of um, the interns are assigned a supervising instructor. And so this year we're looking to add broadcast media component under um, under the film program. We are finalizing a partnership with WLRN, so that's very exciting. Well, they'll be taking a small group of our young people and having them go through the motions in terms of developing stories, interviewing people, and then creating a segment that will air at the end of, of the summer. So we're very excited about that new opportunity. Um, each summer, for the last two summers, we've produced a film. Um, our first summer, we did a short film called Keeping It On. And that was designed to raise awareness around teen dating violence and abuse, using it as an educational tool, but also that can engage young people in these critical conversations so they can begin to discern, okay, what's a healthy versus an unhealthy relationship. Um, last summer, we were fortunate to um, produce a feature film called Unrealistic, which you mentioned at the beginning of the show. And Unrealistic, under the direction of uh, Jalen James Acosta, our director who's been helping us for the last two years, that feature film actually raises awareness around um, youth homelessness and also bullying. And it's really engaging, and we use that also as an educational tool. Matter of fact, we just held our first screening last week at O Cinema in Wynwood. Um, to a great audience. Um, they were very receptive. We got great reviews. They really enjoyed the movie. And so we hope to be invited to different places around the, the county to screen the movie and have some critical dialogue around these important issues that um, our young people want to, to continue talking about. Oh, awesome. Well, uh, definitely keep us informed on uh, if there's any other upcoming screenings. Well, you know, I'll put this out to you to the FIU audience. If there's any clubs uh, or associations operating on campus that want to host a film screening uh, at FIU, they can give us a call. We'd be more than happy to, to work something out and, and come share um, that great film with uh, students over here. All right, awesome. And how can they uh, continuously learn more about, uh, about your projects that are coming up and just everything about Urgent Inc.? Right, well, um, you can visit our website, www.urgentinc.org. Um, we're also on Facebook. I know that's kind of not trending for the young folks these days, but we're still there. Um, we do have an Instagram account, uh, at Urgent, uh, at Urgent Inc. You can find us on Instagram. You can find us on Twitter. 
Um, and you can find us on our website and our contact information if you want to call our office, 786-439-1544, um, or email us at office at Urgent Inc., and we'll be more than happy to um, get back with you and work out some type of um, relationship. We also take interns um, throughout the year, so if there are students that need to um, volunteer and an intern in a youth-serving organization, and they want to learn more about youth development, community development, uh, we're a good place to come find out more about what's happening in the community. Yeah, that's amazing. And, you know, we're all about showing love in the community, so that's outstanding. And let me just um, let you guys know about a couple of more events that we have coming up. Um, on February 12th, we are going to be part of the One Billion Rising Revolution Miami event Um at Miami Dade College Wolfson campus and One Billion Rising is really an international movement um, that speaks against violence against women and girls and so we'll be actually screening our movie Keeping It On with the talk back with young people um, as part of that big event so we invite everyone to come out um, and join us there they can find it easily by Google One Billion Rising in Miami and then also we've been working on a community mural um, at Dorsey Park in the Overtown community um, to dedicate and commemorate Negro League Baseball. Actually, Dorsey Park in Overtown was the home of Negro League Baseball in South Florida, but it was the only place that they could play in South Florida. And it's right in Overtown. And so what we've done over the last couple of years is um, have murals painted with community help, with mentoring artists, um, really showcasing the, just the breadth of all that Negro League players contributed to um, the sport of baseball. And so we're going to be having a park dedication ceremony um, to showcase all the murals that have been completed over the last two years. And that's going to be on February 17th uh, from 10 to 12. And that's going to be in partnership with um, the Miami Marlins in Udana. And they're going to be coming out to help celebrate. They're going to have some um, Marlins baseball players come out. And it's going to be very festive, fun. Uh, event and I invite everyone to come out. It's free. It's open to the public so it'll be a great um, time had by all so we invite you guys to come out and participate as well. Most definitely. <laughs> Absolutely. Any shout outs you'd like to give out or anything? Um, I would like to thank all those that kind of that support our work at Urgent Inc. Um, one of our major funders is the Children's Trust, uh, the Knight Foundation, um, the county and the city, and our Overtown CRA. They've been very supportive, and so um, we have a wealth of volunteers that have come out all through the year. So, you know, we'll give them a shout out. They they help us um, help the kids, and so we appreciate them. And remember, you can find Urgent Inc at uh, www.urgentinc.org and you know even though it's old school mm -hmm. you can like us on Facebook okay <laughs> hey, it's alright Facebook is still the run I'm on there all the time okay, <laughs> <perfect>. <laughs> <laughs> well, once again I want to thank you for uh, checking in tonight here on my Amy's Hottest Music Radio Show thank you very much thank you once again Saliha Nelson of Urgent Inc conducted by yours truly the new Jack Kid Radio Soul <laughs>